Hi everybody, it's Cheryl. So today I am going to do a look. Um, I'm actually going to do the look that initially inspired me um, to start doing makeup. Um, so first and foremost though, I will say I'm getting new lights. So um, please be patient <laughs> with my lighting today. The look I'm going to do for making faces today is called the bombshell. And it is Kevin O'Coin has Lisa Marie Presley done up as Marilyn Monroe. This look spoke to me, um, probably because I had blonde hair, probably because it, it just, it looked so glamorously beautiful. So aside from adding a random uh, beauty mark on my face, which I think was definitely a very 1990s trend, I am going to go ahead and do this. I have applied um, foundation primer and eyelid primer, so today I will kind of let you know what I use. Um, mostly because I'm just not using my, my favorite stuff today, um, except for this. This is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, when I go to Sephora, I tend to hang out in the Smashbox section, and I just, like, recommend this to every single woman that walks in the door. It's the best primer in the history of primer. Uh, I just use e.l.f. foundation. Um, it's in porcelain because I have really white skin. And then I use Urban Decay eyeshadow primer to prime my eyes. So, the, so we're doing this a little bit uh, functionally backwards. He wants me to do my whole face. Well, as you can tell, I've got pimples and I want to uh, contour a bit. So I'm just going to let this all sit while I go ahead and do the rest of it. So anyways, I've already brushed out my brows. So I'm going to go ahead and just pencil them in. Today I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to use my NYX crayon. I'm going to color them in and do the same thing I normally do. So the difference between today and other days is I'm going to actually use something that um, I find makes my eyebrows um, give it a more natural look and stay on longer. I don't own eyebrow gel. Um, and this is actually a perfect product for anybody who is looking to do eyebrows in a hurry. I used to use it after yoga. It just gives me my eyebrows. It's a NYX eyebrow marker and I use it in medium and it, I just kind of retrace my lines and let it dry a little and it just kind of gives it that all day look. So after I apply it, I just go in and brush it through again, and then I go in with my highlighter to shape and make sure that everything's good to go. Okay, so my eyebrows are pretty on point to where I want them to be for this look. Next thing he wants us is to use medium powder brown eyeshadow, and he wants me to apply it to the crease of my eyelid and blend it well. So I'm going to grab a blender this is just a crease and contour brush from my makeup class. So I'm going to go into my Smashbox palette and use a color called Sumatra. It's one of the darker, browner ones here. So I'm going to be very careful of how much I take because this is Smashbox and it's going to be like super pigmented. It's already all over my hands. And we're just going to go in and blend all the way across the eye. Just a little bit at a time. Okay, so if you guys can see, this was just one dab of eyeshadow. That's how dark and pigmented this is. So we'll just keep going with it a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna do it for the other eye as well. Just a dab again. So he wants us to use a white frosted eyeshadow. So you have one I got at Ipsy recently. It's called Vintage and it's got a white and a black in here and well, a vanilla and an espresso. And I am going to use this vanilla because this is like I've, I've used it already and it's really pigmented for white so I'm going to take a different just a regular eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply it all over my lid and then all over and highlight my brow with it then we're going to go in with the white one more time and then blend it again one more time okay so here's the look right now so basically it's just a, it's a simple smoky eye look Okay, so I want to bring a little bit of the white down around and under my eye. Okay, so we're going to fix it up afterwards. A little bit. So he has me applying liquid liners. I am going to go, um, because I want to get as close to my lash line, because I'm going to wear fake lashes today. I'm going to use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Best liner for small jobs, okay? Um, I'm probably going to go in a little bigger than I normally would with this liner, but um, it's just, it'll get nice and close to my lash line, okay? Okay, so you see where I'm at? And then I'm just gonna go, and I'm gonna go straight up. Now, I know big wings are in. I think they look ridiculous on people. 
I'm sorry. I'll never be the girl that does big wing on you. So. So this eye is done. So I'm going to let you take a look at it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Okay. So I've got my wings on. Um, I love winged eyeliner. I wear it every single day. So he has me putting my falsies on at this exact moment. So um, I like to do my false lashes pretty close to the end of my look. I don't feel like I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and do um, a little bit of black on my lower lids um, just to kind of bring this look elevated up a little bit. Okay, so we've got that all on there. So I'm just going to smudge that down a little bit. And I just have this really cool Royal and Lango whatever crease and smudge pencil. I'm just going to go in there a little bit and just get rid of some of the goo. Okay, so we're all done now. Okay, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to apply my lashes and let them set. And then I will be back and to finish up. In the meantime, I'm going to go in and do some concealer on my lower eye. So I'm going to go in with the same color I did yesterday out of my Smashbox palette, the highlight, pa pa highlight color. Put it on my palette. And just using a small concealer brush, I'm going to go in, grab some. Oh man, this stuff goes on like really good. And I'm going to go just under my eye again, all the way over, down my nose color it in. Okay, so now that I've got concealer for my under eye, I'm going to go in. I'm going to bake that on. Just with sponge again and my, my powder. So I'm just going to get a whole bunch of it on my sponge. And just dab it under my eye. So at the end of this look, I'm going to end up applying more powder on my face. Just to give me a more porcelain overall look. So um, while that is baking, I'm going to do just a little bit of contouring. I'm going to grab the same color I did yesterday, which was just the contour color out of my palette. Come in under my ear and down. Oh, because Marilyn Monroe seems to have a little more cheap row and prominence than me. I'm just going to come in for a straight contour today. Okay. So once that done, same thing. Just blend like we did yesterday. Okay. So now that we've got the contouring done, we're going to go in with a highlighter. I'm just going to go in on the nose, the bridge of the nose, up into a V on the forehead for selfies. Yay. Selfie night. Do a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna go ahead, wipe off all of that remainder powder under my eye. And I'm gonna take a close look at my eyelashes. Make sure that there's not any huge mistakes. So they're pretty good. Um, applying false eyelashes has never been exactly my thing. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of do just an overlay. Um, I have a coastal sense uh, liquid eyeliner, which I really like. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of thicken it up a bit. So I just went in and I tried to get in any white spots. Uh, eyelashes are always my challenge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and curl. I curl only the one time with the lashes and my real lashes for fear of pulling them off. This is the second use for these lashes for me. Um, I find I can only usually get about two to three uses out of the lashes. And then it really depends on how heavy I'm going on mascara. I'm gonna put a coat on the upper and then I'm gonna go on my lower. And I'm gonna get some eyeshadow or fucking mascara on my fucking nose. <sighs> mascara on my nose. It's like the worst nightmare when you're doing this. So I'm gonna take some pressed powder and I'm just gonna go over my entire face because I want this look to be fairly porcelain and I want my contouring to blend. Just a quick look. Again, just a wipe off with it. Just to give me a nice mattified effect. 
Okay, so next we're gonna apply just a little bit of blush. He calls for some just rosy pink blush. I'm just gonna use my palette from school. There's a rosy pink color here. And I'm gonna use this adorable brush. I have no idea what it says on it, like Shimmer Glam or something, but it's freaking cute. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this, apply it to the cheeks. And again, because it's 2016 and everybody looks like a highlighted princess, we're going in with Mary Lou. We're gonna go just above where I put my blush, but not into the eyes. Okay, so I feel fairly illuminated. So I'm gonna do one more coat of mascara. I'm only going to do it on the bottom. Okay, so this look is pretty much complete. Uh, I'm going to apply some finishing powder. I'm using Tarte today because it's better. And you never know if it's gonna be hot or cold at a concert or what, so I like to be prepared with my good stuff. So last thing to do is lips. So I grabbed out a really cherry wine lip liner. Um, it's actually called Cherry Cedar. It came with my uh, my makeup kit, so I'm going to apply it. Okay, this is the worst lip liner in the freaking world. Screw it. We're just gonna go ahead in with the good stuff. This is NYX Liquid Suede in some sort of sexy red color, and it's gonna pop way more than this ugly pink shit. Okay, we're just gonna let the lipstick dry. I try not to be pissed off at it, because I'm not gonna wear this anyways to hockey. But this is the finished look. So, this is the look, sorry for my wet hair, just straighten it. This is the look that inspired me to start doing makeup. So, here is Lisa Marie Presley as Marilyn Monroe. It's called The Bombshell, and here is me. So, I'm going to go ahead and take some selfies. My new lights should be here by tomorrow. So, hopefully my next videos will have a little bit better lighting. Otherwise, I'm heading out tonight to the Chantal Craviatsic concert in Red Deer with my friend. So, I will talk to you all later. Thanks so much. Please subscribe. Bye.